Hi Cancer, welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Cancer Love Tarot reading. Cancer Love reading, and as is very often the case here at the Tarot Closet, Cancer Love Messages reading. <laughs> Getting distracted. We already have the Son of Pentacles coming down. Cancer, this is the Knight of Pentacles. It's Virgo and Mercury energy. Is somebody coming in here with an offer? Maybe. But this there's also a lot of humility and apologetic energy here. So this is this somebody coming maybe with an apology only? Or are they bringing this pentacle as an offering for a commitment? Let's see. It's really early on in the reading. And... Well, we're also seeing at the bottom of the deck, the Three of Swords in the upright. This is Saturn and Libra energy. So this is telling me that this is, well, no contact and or in separation reading today. There's heartbreak, heartbreak. There's heartbreak around this connection, a sadness around the connection. For some of you, this might be a divorce that's not going to be for everybody. As I cut the deck, the sun card is showing itself, okay? Well, this is a new cycle coming here to this connection. What kind of new cycle is coming? Let's see. We have a whole lot more to get into, but it's coming here with the Three of Swords, with this breakup energy. And this is telling us that, well, is it the separation ending? Is the no contact ending? Is somebody going to be sending a message, reaching out? bumping into them. Let's see, we've only just begun. And I just want to finish a few things, telling you a few things before we get into your reading. Again, welcome. This is a timeless love reading, a timeless love tarot reading. It's a reading that you, if you found yourself here, which you have, <laughs> hello, is a faded connection. So you're here when you're meant to be here. And I'm really glad you found your way here. This is also coming off. Okay. So yeah, this is more of what we already know. It's the Two of Cups in reverse. Cancer, this is your energy. This is Venus and Cancer energy. So it's a validation of what we know that here in the partnership placement, this is a, a no contact and or no communication, separation, reading. What is that for you? It really is different. It can be that some of you are together, but you're having some trouble or you're apart and not talking. In any case, we see that here. There's a breakup energy, a separation energy, and, well, yeah, a heartbreak energy. Also, for some of you, there may have been some arguments. We're going to continue with a few more things that I wanted to say, and, of course, take the cards that are showing themselves to be, to belong into your reading. Down in the description, you'll find everything you, you are looking for. You will find all the decks that are coming in. You will also find all the playlists, all zodiac signs, messages from your person. The Emperor. So these are coming down, but those are both yours. No contact and or in separation. Love tarot readings. Wow. Okay. Wow. This is kind of a big deal, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. If you're on a Twin Flame journey, there are very long and in-depth Twin Flame readings, really specific to the Twin Flame journey. So feel free to check out anything that you're interested in. Please remember this is a general reading, so take what is for you and let the rest go. I would also be so very grateful. Look. If you would like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not, this really helps to keep the channel going so much more than you know. So thank you very much for your support. Okay, we're just going to get into this because the Emperor is here. Aries energy, of course, Mars energy, and a major arcana. Somebody who likes things a particular way. This is somebody who has been hiding how they feel based on ego. Did that separate you or, or is that a result? Is that the after? After, I want to say, after the separation? We're going to be digging in, but we can see here that how they feel they've been hiding. And we also see where their energy is the strongest cancer. My throat chakra is doing something really weird right now. I almost don't recognize my voice. My gosh. <laughs> okay. 
So this is where their energy is the strongest. Your person, your specific person, maybe even someone who's coming to your mind. Most likely it's the person you came here for today. This is the death of their ego. This is a whole lot of ego here. Divine masculine energy in overabundance of divine masculine energy. This is somebody coming in in a very different vibe. Now, what are they coming in here to offer? Is this an apology or are they coming in here with an offer? Because we know that this is somebody that you're either not talking to and you're separated from, or perhaps you're near them, but you're not really talking or you're not talking a lot. And it can't even be that you're talking to someone, but you're in separation. You're going to know, but there is loss around today's reading. And I see that your person is wanting to come in here. Why? Because they have a lot of regrets. It's the lover's card in reverse. It's validation of what we already know, that there is breakup energy here. We've seen the Three of Swords. We have the Two of Cups in reverse in the partnership placement. And now we're seeing the lovers in reverse. So this is the breakup energy, the separation energy. For some of you, it might be a legal separation. It can be a divorce. This is your person having a lot of regrets. What is the choice that they made here? Look, is this leaving? Is this not talking? Because this is the separation and this was obviously a decision. It's in reverse. This is definitely yours. Oh yeah. So it's turning into, at least for now, because it, it always changes here. <laughs> bottoms up reading it's the nine of swords and it's in the upright this is more gemini energy this is mars energy and it's also telling me that they're not getting a lot of sleep right now they're not getting a lot of sleep right now this is an apologetic energy for sure the mother of pentacles this is the queen of wands in reverse we're seeing the ten of swords in reverse the Daughter of Wands in reverse. This is the Page of Pentacles. The Magician in reverse. The Seven of Wands in the upright. The Ten of Cups in the upright. The Ace of Swords in the upright. It's really very clear. This is an apology coming in. This is somebody who has had a pretty strong wake up energy and epiphany here. It's the Ace of Swords. And you can see that they have clarity. I want to say it. I don't want, well, <laughs> here's the thing. There, this has been very ego driven. You can see it. And that was part of what happened here. What else happened here? And they're realizing that this is, this is literally today, the death of your person's ego cancer. And this is the clarity that they've been receiving. It's lightning bolt energy. They're not sleeping. We see that here in the Nine of Swords. Also right here in the partnership placement. And look what else is here. It's the Magician in reverse. Gemini and Virgo energy. Also Mercury energy. This is telling us that your the potential here was not reached. Is this what you were going for? Eventually, I feel yes. Were you already here? Some of you maybe were. It is connecting here with the Lover's card with the Regret for the bad choice that they made. Look, here, the Two of Cups in reverse, which put you right where you are now, the unfulfilled potential, wasting the resources of the Magician. The Magician has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire. Why was this wasted? Well, you're gonna know and we're gonna keep digging in here. There's that infinity symbol. And this didn't reach the potential or it was interrupted. And what is the potential because of this, the act of the choice that was made, the separation here. They're very aware of it and they regret it. The regret is right here in the lovers in reverse and it's connected directly to the Ten of Cups. So this is what was thrown away, disrupted, paused, we need a lot more. It's the Ten of Cups. It's Mars and Pisces energy. It's in the upright. There's a lot of love in the Ten of Cups. It's contentment. It's, well, 
building a life together. For some of you, that that means a family. And really, family is, what is family to you? It's going to be different for everyone. But it can also be blending families, introducing families. In any case, this is what got interrupted or unfulfilled. We can see it. We also see that they regret it. They're not sleeping very well. They're getting this idea here. Look at this sword. It's wrapped around with an infinity symbol. Of course, for some of you, that's your twin flame. But that's also connected with Libra, the infinity symbol and balance and the truth. What is the truth here? Well, that this is a runner. This is somebody who disconnected, who made a choice, a choice that they regret right in between the Two of Cups and the Lovers in Reverse is the Seven of Wands, Mars and Leo energy. What do I feel is going on here? Well, I think there is a, it's a self-defensive energy. It's kind of coming from both sides. There is a little bit of power struggle here. I don't know if that is kind of who's, who's going to contact who, who's going to write that sort of thing, but you can see it. But you also see the flame is still going. And that's also putting the Six of Wands right below it, of course. You can see it, and that's the Six of Wands here. That's Jupiter and Leo energy. And that's somebody coming in and overcoming their obstacles, their challenges, and sending a message. Still here, waiting for that. The Mother of Pentacles coming right below the Emperor card. This is a very a, a Mother Earth energy. It's sort of like the apprentice, I want to say, of the Empress. And, well, yeah, she's very resourceful and can help with new beginnings. So what is the new beginning here? It's the Daughter of Wands. That is the Page of Wands in reverse. So this is somebody who has been coming from a place of ego that's also connecting to some immaturity. So maybe perhaps how they left the connection, what they were saying or what they weren't saying. And also, well, I say also, but really it's, <laughs> it's the same message that wants to come back in. It's how they left this connection, leaving you feeling like they didn't care about you. What happened here? Because they're realizing they're having a lot of epiphanies here. And look what is here connected also to the Mother of Wands. This is the Queen of Wands and it's in reverse. So this is somebody who is not as, well, here's the thing. It's a very confident energy, the Queen of, the Queen of, the Queen of Wands, the Mother of Wands. Look at the snake, the energetic movement wrapped around the wand here. It's in reverse. So they're not really sure how to, what I feel is get an apology to you. This is the Ten of Swords in reverse, and this is asking for forgiveness. It's the Sun and Gemini energy, and I feel like you've been waiting for this, Cancer. That's putting the Sun in reverse, telling us that it's a temporary energy for waiting for what you want to hear. A message. Could it be in person? Of course, it's not real clear. Not yet, but we do see that Ten of Cups here. In any case... This is asking for that. This is literally a new cycle beginning. So the completion, what do I feel that is here? This is somebody who, whether it's ending the separation or the no contact and moving forward with more or just wanting to get this message across, it is the end I feel of no contact because they are asking for forgiveness here. They want a new start. Can it be more than just kind of changing how everybody feels about everybody? Maybe. Let's see. Because we know that it hasn't reached, reached its potential. And we do see the Ten of Cups here. Now, I want to say, it's really clear with the Ten of Cups, the way it's in particular how it wanted to connect with the lovers in reverse, that this is what they regret. The decision that they made, decisions, I feel, that led up to, the, to as we can see, the unfulfilled potential of the Ten of Cups. So building something together or continuing to build something together or even having that still on the table, that got taken away. They're not sleeping well because this is somebody who hurt you that I feel didn't mean to hurt you. And this is also telling us this Two of Cups in reverse that for some of you, there may have been 
a proposal on the table, whether it was marriage, to move in together. What was that? Travel together, talk more, have a future later. Whatever that is, we can see that was disconnected. Look, there are the roses right here, the two of you, and it's in reverse. They're not sleeping very well. It's the Nine of Swords. It's Gemini and Mars. They're thinking a lot about this unfulfilled potential with you. The fire is still burning. You're both really guarded. You're both in the Seven of Wands. It's assessing things. And you can see in this major arcana, the death card, looking right down into the major arcana, the emperor, that they realize how, I want to say arrogant, they have been and what that part, partly what it caused, the disconnect here, the lack of, well, the magician in reverse, not re reaching the potential here, the mother of pentacles, can be here to make this something together again. It's not real clear, but it is here for a reason. And that's, I feel, to change things because things are not resolved. You can see that. They're really asking for forgiveness here. They're not really as confident as I feel they could be. And you can see that here in the Mother of Wands in reverse. That's the Queen of Wands in reverse. But we also see that there is a determination. There's the death card here. This is Scorpio energy. It's a major arcana. And this is changing everything. And it's a transformational energy. We know that. And this is really just because things were left in a way that everyone was still hurt. I feel confused. Even though there's information that you have that you know how they were behaving, but the more you, I feel, maybe confronted them or tried to work it out, the more they pulled away and ran. Do I feel like this is coming in with a big major offer? It's not real clear. I don't, I can't answer that. But I can see that they're very, very sorry. This is really the death of their ego in terms of getting this apology to you, at the very least, because there's a lot of regret here. This is someone that I don't think, I don't think either of you don't love each other anymore. I think there's still a lot of love here. What's the potential now? What are their circumstances? And, you know, which we know, remember that everyone has free will, energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. The future is not fixed. So what, what, what is everybody doing? What are the moves being made here? The Daughter of Wands is right here in between the Mother of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Death card. This is the Page of Wands in reverse again. So it's pretty much overpowered by the Death card, I want to tell you. But there is a little bit of, a little bit a lot, <laughs> of some immature energy here and somebody who is still struggling a little. And it's also telling us that they have been struggling with their ego. You can see it. But the level, how much time has passed because it's not where it was before. This is somebody who I feel like has seen, is seeing things very different now. It's the King of Cups in the upright energy for me. It's somebody who's realizing how they feel and owning also, owning their feelings and owning Owning what their part in this, owning, yeah, owning something in this connection that they were not owning before because they were just busy running and not looking and feeling triggered. They're seeing it here now, and this is the truth. And this is also telling us that this emperor is balancing out their divine feminine and divine masculine energies. There is no gender here. Remember, we all have divine feminine and divine masculine energies, but we can see, we know there's an overabundance here. And it's partnered beautifully with the Mother of Pentacles because she's not the Empress, but she's the apprentice. <laughs> so she's here to kind of make some peace with the Emperor, you know, to get things balanced out here because it's wrapped around. There's a lightning bolt. They can't deny the clarity that they have. We see it. And, ex and what part they played in this from the beginning, the middle to where I want to say where you are now. And, and maybe for some of you, that is the end because it is the end of the cycle. This doesn't feel like it's something that's over to me, but it is the end of a cycle. And for me, that is somebody who's trying to break that by sending an apology in. There's a 
there is a new start here and there is a moving on energy coming through in that Ten of Swords in reverse, the Sun in Gemini. It is a temporary energy of, I feel, not talking, but for some of you it could have been going on for a while. But the moving on for me is just to get some clarity for everybody because I feel like nothing really ever got resolved. It's the Hermit in reverse and this is what's wanting to be your overall energy today I'm hearing. It's the Ace of Swords. Virgo Mercury energy, the Hermit. It's where you go. It's where you go to get the clarity. Personal truth. What are you doing? What do you want? Look, the flame is here. Spiritual illumination. It's in reverse. That's telling us what we already know, that there is a separation, there is a disconnect here, and it's stuck. There's fear kind of from everybody's side. I feel like you're both still here, waiting for the other. You know, is somebody maybe getting ready to come out of here? Could that be you, Cancer? Putting a pin in this till later, I'm hearing, or maybe even moving on. But forgiveness is really here on the table quite literally today. And it does feel like it's coming through in a message here. Maybe that's in person too. We're going to get a little bit more and we're keeping the hermit. And look, the Three of Swords came back, okay? And it's going here. I'm feeling that it needs to go here. And that's very strong in your person's energy. So they're feeling this heartbreak. Cancer, I don't know if you know that. There's a lot I feel like your person here today has been keeping from you. I think you know about the ego, of course, obviously. And I feel like you have a lot of questions and they do want to make contact. Is it more than an apology? Let's see. We see the Mother of Pentacles again, the Ten of Cups, whoops, and <laughs> the Son of Pentacles here, which is, of course, the Knight of Pentacles. So there is an offering here. We can see that, and there is a nurturing of that offering, of that Pentacle. The Mother is here for the Son of Pentacles. This is the Mother, so here to nurture and nurture a new beginning. So is that... So the resourceful energy, kind of shining something up, you know, making something work. So is that coming back together or is that healing, healing everybody's heart? Because that also comes through here in the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's a, a healing offering is what I feel, but it, of course, can be a whole lot more. Cancer, I'm going to bring in another deck. And, of course, we're keeping the Three of Swords here. And okay, so I'm hearing actually <laughs> that I do need to put it there, but I need to take this. All right, so this is what I need to take. Just a moment because I'm making a mess as usual. <laughs> so yeah, so this is a validation. It's come back and it also really belongs in your person's energy. So they want you to know that, that they feel the loss too. It's this energy of I didn't, I wasn't, I meant what I said. I wasn't trying to trick you. It, it was real. I'm hearing that they're saying it was real cancer. It was real for them. So that wanted to stay in here and which is leaving us with the four of pentacles, which we're going to talk about. And then I'm going to bring in another deck. Capricorn energy. It's the sun and Capricorn energy. Cancer, they have not let you go. There is something that they're, not only untangling in their life, but I just feel like they want to untangle this. Look, literally here, it came right, right below it and really wanted to be seen. It's the red thread of fate. It's bound up in a little bit of a chaotic way. So how, how was this separation? How did this go down? You know, was it somebody that just ghosted that just, or was it a slow, Withdrawal was the cord was was this already wrapping for a while or was it just a chaotic energy? Whatever the case is, this is what I feel like they're trying to unravel here. There's, a, you know, there's some devil card energy here that comes through often in your reading with your person, and not because I think there's the devil. I mean, it's not as the kind of card that you think it is. You know, the devil influence. <laughs> it's. Well, yeah, it's about what has gone wrong and what has been going on. And 
it's the devil in reverse for me energy, really strong. And it's an energy of moving on from, it's an energy of healing cancer. And if this is what you need to hear today for your healing, and you don't ever open up to talk to or hear from your person, or you don't receive that message or message again that you've been wanting, they want to send this to you at the very least. They want you to know that they're sorry. They're trying to untangle the, I feel like it's, it's eight of pentacles energy here in this deck in particular. It's um, a web, spider web, and it's sort of like the webs they weaved. And it can be that it had to do with lies for some of you because we see here the, the clarity. That's not just about the truth. Again, it does connect to Libra. And it is, well, it's the balancing of their divine feminine, divine masculine energies, also the chakras, everything just ground up here. That earth energy is what I'm feeling really strong. And it's having a lot of realizations. And again, the truth of what? Was there an actual outright lie? Were there third parties involved? Or are they just wanting to come in and just tell you that you were right? Because that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that you, you weren't wrong. You, they, they felt they meant what they said. They weren't lying to you about that. That's what they really want to tell you. They're trying to untangle this. I don't feel like you've let each other go. And maybe this is what some of you will need to hear if you are wanting to let go. It feels also pin in it. This feels like something that maybe is for another time. But whatever the case is, this is an apology and it's coming right here, right now. This is an apology because they're, they're literally having a conversation with their ego and their higher self. It's here today. This is their higher self and the death card today and theirs, their ego and the emperor. And they want you to know that you weren't imagining it and they're sorry. And they, they realize this and they're not sleeping very well. And maybe there's some solace in that for you and maybe not. Maybe some of you are saying good, <laughs> you know, but they want you to know that. You see the nine of swords, you see the lack of sleep and you see where it brought them to the 10 in reverse, which is also here in the sword energy. That's clarity. It's transactional energy. And it's the ace here. It's that mental clarity that's just kind of like, ba-boom, coming in, realizing here, going from getting this bolt, I feel like, in the nocturnal energy, coming in here and to the Ten of Swords in reverse and saying, I really need to say sorry to my cancer. I want them to know it, was, it wasn't you, it was me is what I'm hearing. They're sorry. And what they said they meant. Hello. <laughs> that camera is going to drive me crazy. So as I was saying, I don't know if it picked that up, but the nine of swords in reverse, the lack of sleep, the lightning bolt coming in, the realization, going here into the reverse, knowing that they want to apologize and have a different feeling between you, if nothing else. So do I feel like that this is telling us the ten of cups is going to be coming together and now you're going to be building this life now you're going to be blending families, moving in. What is that for you or coming back into it? I can't tell you that because energies and outcomes, they can and they will and they do change. Because what has come through anyway, <laughs> look. Okay, so that's exactly what they realized. Look at that. It just slid right off. It's the mother of swords. That's the queen of swords in reverse. That's the dishonesty. That's what they're trying to repair here. Look, they're literally saying, I'm sorry for lying, what, about how they feel, that's for sure here in the emperor energy. For lying about, for some of you, maybe it was a third party, lying about what they were ready for, what they weren't ready for, not taking responsibility. They're sorry for everything and they want you to know that. And yeah, so again, can I tell you that this is happening? I can't because everyone is gonna make a decision and it's connecting really strongly for me today with this energy of having a lot of regret for the choice they made here and the two of cops and the separation and we saw the three of swords here what is that two or three times now two I guess putting us here in the magician and the unfulfilled potential in this soulmate connection deep soulmate connection deep soulmate energy here for some of you it's also your twin flame i know that's not for everybody but this is a message that the potential that they know 
even if it was on the table. Is it on the table again? Well, it is here. So is this a put a pin in it for some of you? Maybe. Maybe. We're going to bring in another deck, Cancer. And by the way, this Queen of Swords energy, that's Libra ruled by Venus. And that's the clarity that they had, the dishonesty and knowing here. Venus, the planet of love. The lovers in reverse. The two of cups in reverse. They know that they need, they're trying to be honest with themselves too here. That's the renewal also that they're getting. So what's going on in their life? That's causing this, something. But... I like this. I like that they're wanting to apologize. I like that they're sending it through to you. It feels good and I feel, I feel like I want to cry, but I also feel some kind of relief. I hope that you feel that relief too, Cancer, because that's what I feel coming through really strong here today. I want to bring in, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to bring in some Oracle. That's what I'm going to bring in. Then we're going to bring in some channeled love messages. I think I'm going to bring in some little hearts today, the ones I made for you for Valentine's Day. And then we're going to close your reading. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So that's the King of Cups energy that I was feeling. It's coming through here in the release card. This is releasing the emotions. This is... This is also the Mother of Pentacles energy, I have to tell you. It's protege to the Empress, and that's coming with the truth. That's, well, yeah, emotional availability. There's a lot here that they held back. We know that in the Emperor. We really know it here in the reading, and that's a lot of why they're sorry, and they're hoping you can forgive them, because I feel like that's a lot of what was lied about here. You felt it at some point, and then you didn't, and then they denied it. They denied it by what? Not communicating, maybe lying, running. I mean, that's the, that's the, that's the physical proof, you know, of how you feel when somebody runs, or they're they're just not answering messages or they're not writing, well then, yeah, you start to have a lot of questions and, and feel like, well, was it all a lie? Did they not feel this way? Was I imagining that? Were they honest? Did they want this too? What was this? They're saying, no, it's here. Look. So they're coming into this now. They're not sleeping because of it. There's three there. The divine, divine timing communication and growth. There is some growth here. For some of you, that might literally be years chronological within your person, but that's not going to be for everyone. That's just some kind of some page <laughs> graduation energy, you know? So it can be chronological years that they're younger too, but that's also not always going to be the case because we also see the emperor here and it can be somebody a little bit older and maybe kind of controlling and having a lot of things going on. It's more about just that energy within them, that daughter of wands in reverse, a little bit of immature energy here, even this, well, yeah, even a little bit here in the Son of Pentacles. And that, and that there's a lot of reasons for that, you know, why somebody holds feelings back. It's not just about us, you know, us as in human beings when we're in connections and people withhold them or freely give and then take it away. It's, it's about what's going on with them. You know, everybody has their own journey, their past, their, the trauma or the wounding in their life and what's nature versus nurture. Whatever the case is, we see that the very act of the decision they made or an accumulation, kind of a domino effect of decisions has left you feeling like maybe they didn't mean a lot of it. And that's not true. They withheld it and it's here. And I'm really hoping that that is what is coming through here for you in a message. Because we see the stuck energy. Nobody's really moving on. There has been resistance to that look. It's the bottom of the deck. That's Taurus energy. Interesting though, because it's a lunar eclipse and that's going to be that's that temporary energy too. It's not going to stay there. That's the shadow. So somebody doing some work here. We also see that quite literally in the death card. I think everybody is. But your person today, that's what's going on here. There is some shadow work going on. There is some life lessons and they're wanting to do not just the right thing to be a decent human being, but because I feel like they love you, Cancer. Whether or not you can be together, 
I don't think this is a coming together right now energy, but who's to say? The future is not fixed. Where are you going to be at? Where are they going to be at? What decisions are you going to make? Everyone has free will. This shadow here, this lunar eclipse, will eventually move and the resistance won't be here anymore. And actually, I have to say to you, as I take that off, yeah, look. <laughs> It's a resistance to change, and it brought up the loyalty card, too, as this is what they were resisting. So you know that that's moving out of the way. And the change, and they were resisting that, and that's also the leaves. They're about change. This is the heart chakra as well, and it's in reverse here. There's two here. One's kind of bigger, one's smaller with the hole. And I don't love this, but I feel like there's a wound. Well, you can see there's a wounded leaf here, and there's one that's kind of bigger and, and not... And they regret that. They know that how they handled themselves. And they have been resisting, I feel, <laughs> coming into this energy. And the change that that requires to come in and apologize, the death of that ego, is, is a big deal. And, he, and I'm, I'm hoping that you feel it the way I am because I'm really feeling it. And it's coming through here for you. If I could... If I could reach into you, I would. It's palpable. The dog card is showing itself a loyalty. And this is connecting with the moon energy as well. Pisces energy, but you come through Cancer and also Gemini. The major arcana energy coming through here, and that's the moon. And that's the sun. The sun is the conscious. The moon is the subconscious. It highlights it and gives us that full moon, which we're a super moon any minute. Speaking of which, and... It illuminates everything so you can see it. And for me, and in particular, because the moon is all about the emotions, that is wanting to communicate in a new way and open up. This is what is going on here. And this is coming through strong for me that it's a message. It's here. What's what you've been waiting for? This is the message I feel you've been waiting for. This is what you've been waiting to hear. That's what that is. Because regardless of what happened here, there is a my person energy here that I'm feeling. It's a, it's a six of cups energy feeling. A, a special connection between you. And there is underneath all of that a loyalty, which is also why I feel like it has been hurting so much. And why they also are realizing this. We are going to keep it. Yeah. Look. And as I talk about realizing this, this is interesting because this... Son of Pentacles, the deer here, also looks kind of downtrodden, you know, this recognition here. Because you see that the moon isn't quite full here. I'm pretty sure that's the moon. That's the Knight of Pentacles. In any case, look what revealed itself. There's the fiery energy here, expansion. That is, I feel like, of the mind. Really strong hangman energy here today. And that Hermit card is most definitely spinning, too. It's, it's not staying here in reverse. We know that. In fact, it might already be uprighting itself. And that's the knowledge, I want to say. I'm going to do one last channeling, and then we're going to bring in some channeled love messages. Cancer. Prosperity. It's interesting because I, I, I saw that <laughs> when I was getting ready to look, when I was getting ready to shuffle it. And I thought, oh, I saw it kind of late and I was getting ready to shuffle. So I let it go. And a couple of rounds in and it still, it still came through. Prosperity, that pomegranate, that also connecting us with the high priestess. Yeah, the divine feminine energy. Cancer, your energy. Trusting themselves and revealing. Bringing here, I feel... This is, I feel, what you want to hear. What is in that truth? And the truth for me is that it was that it was real. And they're sorry. As they balance out, literally, their divine feminine and divine masculine energies. And also, this is bringing in what we already know to be here. In many ways, the justice energy. And that's the truth. This is the truth coming out. This card almost looks a little bit like a doubt, like eyes, you know, kind of looking down, a little bit of downtrodden energy. There's some of that energy here. There's some guilt. There's five of cups energy here too. And that's your person just, which we know here also in the lover's card in reverse, having a lot of regret. They really, 
Yeah, I mean, you see the loss here as well. Again, it came down again and it wanted to be in their energy for leaving you feeling like they didn't love you because that's not what happened. They were just triggered. Whatever was going on in their life at the time, also really strong ego coming through. That kind of kept it going. Some immature energies, some power struggles, circumstances that you're, some of which you're going to know and they're sorry. This expansive nature here in the fire energy is, I feel the understanding that we have here because that's what the lightning causes. You know, here in this Ace of Swords, it's boom, pshh, lights the fire, the fire in their belly to come here and say what they need to say to you. And if you're not getting that in this message, down below the Seven of Wands, look at this with this fiery lit still here. It's in that Six of Wands. And I could continue on and on with the tarot to get it out, but why? We already know it's here. I don't need that validation. Today I'm going to actually bring in the little ones and then some hearts. And then we're going to close your reading. Messages from their higher self. Channeled love messages, Cancer. What do you want to say to your Cancer? What do you want to say to your beautiful Cancer? I really want to hold you. Okay. Where do I want to put that? I want to put that here. You are perfect. You are so good to me. And that prosperity as well. Maybe this is a pin in it for some of you, you know? And maybe that message is a reaching out in person. But it can also be that it's here. It is here. And that's maybe all it's going to be. But I feel like it's going to be a lot more. You're my other half. It's the soulmate energy. It's the twin flame energy. Not everybody's on a twin flame journey, but I know many of you are. And if you're not, it doesn't mean it's not your reading, but you know that already. So many songs remind me of you. Playlists, listening to music now too, Cancer. I am afraid to contact you. Okay. You have changed me for the better. I love you. There is that I love you. I felt that I love you. I feel that I love you. I know that's, you know, not going to heal everything, but they wanted you to hear it here today. I still want you. I am so sorry I hurt you. That's, I think that's it. Nope, that's it. Okay, boy, they're just going to milk it. <laughs> We're going to take these three first. Came together. My world changed when I met you. I want to kiss you. Some physical, a chemistry between you. What is underneath here? Why is that rolling off? It's the renewal in reverse. Yeah, because they're working on it still. It's the balance. It's the heart chakra. And that's the opening of the heart chakra, by the way, in the death card. So we know that, that is, that's what they're working on here. And we already know what's happening. It's in the process. Of moving this shadow out of the way from that lunar eclipse, from the resistance to say what they need to say. It's really hard living without you. So they miss talking to you, miss you in their life. I will never give up on us. You are my first thought when I wake up and last thought before sleep. That's the Knight of Swords. I am waiting for the right time. Okay. So for some of you, this is a, this is a later energy. I want to bring in the hearts and then we're going to close your reading, Cancer. I made a song playlist. So, so many songs remind me of you. I made a song playlist. I'm taking the ones that are up here. I love you. Coming in again. We are soulmates. You are my other half. I miss you. 
these are together. What do they say? Sending a kiss and I was scared. That's the running. Be mine. You're my favorite person. They have a high regard for you. And I also wanted to tell you there's a really strong energy from the strength card here. It's a, it's a high chemistry between you. I'm hiding my true feelings. That's what they've been doing. That's the emperor energy, which they're trying to get over here, which they are here today. It's messages from their higher self, as, as is the reading. Cancer. It's been my honor to channel for you. What a beautiful reading. Thank you for being here today. I'm really glad that I was a part of your reading. If you enjoyed today's reading, I would really appreciate it if you like the reading, liking and watching, sharing readings, subscribing to the channel really helps the channel continue to grow. So thank you. I really do appreciate it. I'm sending you love and light, all things good on your journey. And I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Bye, Cancer.